Hello and welcome to the Horror Hour, a place we discuss, we debate, we disagree on all things horror, but today we're going to talk about some documentaries, or a documentary in particular, that we were lucky enough to get an advanced screening of, and it's called Girl in the Picture. Um, it's directed by Sky Borgman, who also did Abducted in Plain Sight, which is a chilling documentary, and this is the source material for this one is from Matt Burbeck, and he's also one of the executive producers. This is going to be on Netflix, dropping on July 6th. And it's about a young mother's mysterious death and her son's subsequent kidnapping that blows open a decades long mystery about the young woman's true identity and the murderous federal fugitive at the center of it all. Whew. So with that, we're just gonna get right into it and say, hey, Liam, what'd you think of it? So I really enjoyed it. Um... It was quite a gut puncher um, of a, a documentary. Um, but it was it was really informative, like the way it was the way it was presented. Like it it didn't just like give you all the facts and then end. It yeah took you on the journey of the case, um, which which was really enjoyable to watch. Yeah. Yeah, it was it was very twisty, which was insane. And that kind of added to like why it was kind of it kept luring me in. And it is a, a gut, like you said, it's a heart wrenching tale. Um, but as Liam says, one of my favorite things about this documentary is there is closure. And I do hate sitting through either a docu a long documentary or a docu-series. And at the end of it, it's like to be continued kind of stuff. This has, there's nothing, nothing more needed worse. with, yeah, there's nothing more that's needed. You get the full story. You may not like how all of it, you know, turns out, but it does get closure. And honestly, it was really good. It was, I just, uh, it was twist after twist after twist. Uh, and uh, I mean, it's crazy. And it's very interesting because they get, um, you know, people from all sorts who were interacted with this true crime, which I wasn't as familiar with, but I was also, I think, a, like, I was a young kid during the time that this happened, so I, I don't know the case, but it's fascinating. I enjoyed it, and again, yeah, it's it's a quick binge because it's only a documentary movie and not some crazy-ass series, so for me, I enjoyed it, and I would say you should check this out when it drops. Oh yeah, definitely check it out. Um, if you've enjoyed any of the other like true crime documentaries that have been on Netflix, um, you're going to enjoy this one as well. It's it's informative, it's quick, it's it's bite sized mm -hmm. with it being just a movie, so you can get into it, watch it. You can put your feet up, have your tea, chuck it on, finish your tea, it's done. It's all good. Mm -hmm. Um, so yeah, I would definitely recommend it. Yeah. So, hey, that's our review. We appreciate you coming. Just remember to hit that like, subscribe button, and that notification bell so you're notified of every time we put up new content. We've got reviews, interviews, fun podcasts planned. And, hey, comment down below if you've seen this, plan to see it, and um, if you can think of any documentaries that we should check out, let us know. So until next time, bye. Obviously, make them good. <laughs> You have been listening to the Horror Hour. See you next time.